Vice President Shoti Man claims organizers of N by Governance and Nigeria protest are idiots from US, Australia, and Finland. So this man opened this in March, they talk this kind of thing. Hey, hey, the news in detail. Hmm. The vice president for the pin that it was time for unity and not protest in the country. Nigeria Vice President Kashim Shetima has described the sponsors of the NBAD governance and Nigeria protest in the country as persons from Australia, the United States, and Finland. This is even as he described them as bandits and idiots. Shetima spoke on Saturday while he was the special guest of honor when the Shehu of Brno, His Royal Highness Al Haji Dr. Abubakar Ibrahim Omar Garba Al Amin. El Kenami gave out four of his daughters in marriage at a wedding ceremony in Meduguri, the Brno state capital. The only way we can show solidarity with the governor is for our people to shy away from dancing to the tune of the bandits and idiots who are fomenting mischief from the comfort of Australia, of Finland and the United States. All the so-called social media influencers, he said. Speaking further, he said, and I quote, they are not in this country. We need to learn a lot of lessons from what happened in Syria and Libya. So what they are getting for is a road to Khartoum, and they are getting for a road east to Damascus. And what they are getting for is a road to Damascus. What they are clamoring for is a part of Tripoli. And inshallah, the people of Nigeria will not dance to the tune of these anarchists and saboteurs. Shetina implored Nigerians to shun the planned nationwide protest scheduled to begin on August first. 2024, saying it is time for unity and focused development in the country. According to the him, protest has never been a solution for nations to solve their challenges, but rather an avenue for destruction of human lives and properties, even as a goal for peace and unity. Appealing to Nigerians to shun the planned protest, he said, and I quote, I want to use this opportunity to call on our people to skew violence. There can never be development without peace, and there can never be peace without development. I wish to implore all our youth not to follow the paths of anarchy or destruction. According to him, President Tinubu feels the pulse of the nation and remain committed to... Okay. And remain committed to making the nation's challenges mostly inherited over the years a theme of the past. The vice president implored Nigerians to keep faith with the federal government, adding that in no distant time, all of the administration's efforts at emphatically repositioning the nation as one of the most powerful economy and social welfare for its citizens will become obvious. The vice president further opined that it was time for unity and not protest in the country. We have had enough bad challenges. We have had enough challenges, rather, in Bruno, in the sub-region, and the nation as a whole. This is a time for unity. This is a time for focused development. And for the people of Bruno, I will ask them to rally around our governor, who is working tirelessly to address our governmental deficits and also bring Sukkot to the downtrodden. The VP assured that President Tunibu remained committed to pulling the nation out of the woods, emphasizing that the Tunibu administration will leave no stone unturned in ensuring that the welfare of Nigerians will improve drastically. The end bad governance in Nigerian protests is scheduled for between August 1st and August 10th. Okay, the power of the people is much more than the people in power, no going back. Okay, oh. We must come out to protest. If not, these bad leaders did not have our interests at heart and they don't see us as anything because most of the children are not even Nigeria they are governing. So we ask them question on that day. Okay. This may be a fight between the politicians and the masses. Nana you just know. Nana you just know. Okay. Congratulations. So you just find a shot. The peaceful protest must go on in order to caution the sets of political, selfish, failures, handling and running the Nigerian governmental affairs. Else, they will collapse Nigeria before the end of the year. It is from the vice president for then, if then we are finished. Now you they finished or not to me. 
Look at the statement from a leader of a country. And someone will tell me he's worthy of leadership. You people in power better have a proper rethink before it gets out of control. Not calling protest organizer with different sort of names. Nigerians are under excessive pressure of hardship that you can no longer resist. I warn you, no amount of power will stop a rolling stone from the mountain. Of course, it's not with the road, you can't down. Huh? You can't stop it. The Nigerian government is still taking the youths and the entire masses for granted. Let the government reverse the four subsidy, electricity tariff, reduce high cost of governance and security, and most things will key in automatically. All they're trying to do is to attach tribal sentiments on this innocent protest. That is all they know how to do. All right. Let us know. Okay, he's no longer P2B and his supporters again. God, I beg you, just help me make a Japa come up for this country. Oh, you want to run? Now here we do. Everywhere we gather day for this place. You're not going anywhere. Now here we go day. We face everything together. Instead of government officials to be complaining, why can't them take necessary measures to at least reduce the effects of a hardship? Do you think that they want to? They don't want to. They don't want to. Calling the protesters all sort of name will not solve the problem. Instead, provide alternative. Namigo upon their voice government. Government when they take advice. When they advise themselves, Namigo when they advise them. Sure. Those guys are still arrogant in their failure. It is obvious that there is no solution coming from them. They cannot even boast that they have done well as a government. They brought leadership from all the guys of reform. Is reform not supposed to make things better? Failed government, failed combo. No leader speaks that way. Very crude with bitterness written all over him. The people that protest against Jonathan in 2012 are now scared to face the same challenge. And they tell you, they're not coming out to say things. Thank God, say that their video still there. Now that their video, now we go use the worker during protests. Now that their video. Because now some people say, make them protest. May police protect us. So that's the way he advised at that time. Now that and now that he advised, now we take. I say, say, make go come outside, come protest. We go come outside, come protest that time. That time and now, no difference. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.